now the U.S. Work, is working to free that American soldier who fled to North Korea, willingly, they say. The Pentagon says that private second class Travis King was being taken to an airport in South Korea after serving time there for assault. Instead of flying to Texas, King joined a tour group going to a South Korean border town and then fled into North Korea and crossed the demilitarized zone. Many still asking how this was able to happen. For more, I want to bring in retired Army Major General William Enyart. Uh, thank you, as always, for being here. As you hear the former uh, governor talk about the situation and bringing this American soldier back quietly, I have to wonder about relying on the compassion of North Korea, given the relationship between the U.S. and North Korea right now. What's your read on the, the challenges of this situation? Well, Marnie, uh, I, I think uh, the question of bringing him back quietly uh, is uh, probably naive at best at this point. Uh, it's pretty unlikely that the North Koreans uh, would uh, uh, quickly and, uh, and gladfully return him to us. I, I think they'll use him as a propaganda tool, um, whether it's, uh, you know, here's a uh, a U.S. soldier who's so disaffected with his nation that he runs across, the escapes from the airport and runs across the border, uh, or or whether uh, they hold him as a, essentially a POW. You know, we're still at war with North Korea. It's only an armistice. So technically we're still at war. And uh, and they hold him as a POW and flaunt him uh, as, a, as a POW. But in either event, I, I don't see this being quickly and quietly resolved. I, I think it's going to take some very delicate negotiations. I think it's going to take some time to make this happen. The other thing that Governor Richardson said is that it's good news North Korea has not said anything so far um, contentious about the situation. Here's his comments on that. In the past, they've made statements when an American is detained in North Korea. Uh, they have accused them of spying. So far, none of that has happened. And that's the good news here. Maybe this can be resolved quietly. Is there a diplomatic path forward between the U.S. and North Korea? And, and that may be a bigger picture question at this point. Well, I, that is a very, <clears throat> excuse me, Marnie, that's a very big uh, picture question. And certainly Governor Richardson has got a, lot, a great deal of experience in negotiating with North Koreans and successfully uh, bringing folks home. And, and I would probably defer to him in terms of the negotiations with the North Koreans. Uh, but, you know, we just had a an Ohio class nuclear submarine visit there. We we uh, and in response to that, the uh, North Koreans fired an ICBM. So um, it, it certainly does not look like it'll be uh, quick, quiet or easy. Uh, I, I think it's going to take some some prolonged negotiations. Uh, the North Koreans don't always immediately uh, make a statement. Uh, they quite frequently wait a day or a few days uh, before they come out with any uh, propaganda release on it. So uh, I, I don't think that's uh, unsurprising. How much danger do you think Private King may be in right now? Well, you know, he is uh, technically an enemy soldier, uh, a, a POW, and, and North Korea, of course, is not uh, shown uh, great kindness to, to American soldiers. Um, so uh, I, I think he's probably already regretting uh, what appears to be a, an impulsive and really ill-thought-out decision. You know, the charges he was faced uh, with in South Korea were, relatively speaking, pretty minor. Uh, um, he, uh, he assaulted a, a Korean citizen outside a bar. Uh, then when the police put him in a police car, he, he got violent and, and uh, damaged the police car and, and kicking out while in the back seat. Um, so uh, while they're certainly uh, aggressive and, and certainly, uh, you know, it, it, it looks like uh, he, he was probably involved in some kind of drunken brawl based on my experience of over 30 years in the military, uh, but uh, certainly not uh, not a, a, a huge criminal offense. And the fact that the South Koreans had already turned him back over to the U.S. and he was being sent back to the States uh, shows me that, it, that nobody really viewed it as, as a horrible crime. Uh, but it was certainly uh, going to bring him some discipline. But I suspect he's going to face a whole lot tougher problems in North Korea than he faced back at Fort Bliss. Yeah, there are a lot of questions we don't know, but the White House saying the priority now, his well-being and resolving this situation. Uh, thank you, as always, General Inert. My pleasure, Marnie. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.